Good morning, Bodie Bulldogs. Today is a wonderful Wednesday, April 8th, and this is your principal, Mr. Rubio, with your morning announcements. Hope you're doing good this morning. Please rise and join us for the pledge, uh, Pledges of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now join us for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Now please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Celebrating your birthday today, we have three uh, students in our high school, three of our high school students celebrating a birthday. Uh, first up, we have Sebi Duran, uh, one of our awesome seniors who's going off and doing great things next year in college. Uh, Fabricio Lugo in 11th grade and Naomi Nolasco. Fun fact about Naomi, she on her practice ACT, she's already scoring at a 22 plus. Happy birthday to the three of you. We hope you have a wonderful birthday today celebrating with your family uh, and everyone else. Wish them a happy birthday if you see them online. Uh, meals update. Uh, there is an important update. Friday, April 10th, there is no school. However, we will have meal distribution on that day. So you can definitely stop by and get food on Friday, April 10th. Um, as a reminder, we are bundling breakfast, lunch, and dinner together. Friday, April 10th, we will have food for y'all. This week is a National Assistant Principals Week. So, you know, you can definitely send all four of these uh, awesome assistant principals a team's message. Uh, from left to right, we have Ms. Talamas, our assistant principal of instruction, Mr. Caro, our assistant principal of instruction, Mr. Camacho, our assistant principal of operations, and Ms. Malukas, our assistant principal of instruction. We are very lucky to have them on, at our school, on our campus. Uh, happy National Assistant Principals Week to you all. Obviously, we can't celebrate the way that we would have liked to, but we were able to send them some nice cookies yesterday um i'm sorry on monday for to celebrate a little bit of the to celebrate them um for spirit week uh, as a reminder uh today is you don't have to be six feet from a good book i'm going to share some of my favorite books with you these are just some uh definitely friday night lights and world war z are two of my most favorite books that i've probably read at least at least three times each maybe more uh, the Watchmen is a movie, uh, actually. It's but uh, before it was a movie, it was it's it is a graphic novel by Alan Moore. Uh, would highly recommend that. And then you may have heard of this uh, series called Game of Thrones. Uh, again, these are books, uh, or started off as 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 books. Um, and all of these are my favorites. Um, I would highly recommend that you. Uh, again, during this time, take some time to read. That is the best way to improve um, in all subjects. And hopefully today you can submit a picture with some of your favorite books. Uh, hat day yesterday, we have some of our uh, RISE students uh, sporting their awesome hats. Thank you so much for the submission, RISE team. And then a lot of your teachers partaking in hat day. We see Miss Benning with her dog, TJ. Uh, Miss Malukas' dog, Liza. Uh, Miss Lance and her beautiful daughter, Charlotte. Um, and then we have Ms. Reyes and Mr. Ruiz participating in Hat Day. What I don't see enough of our students, so please submit your pictures. We would absolutely love to showcase you on the announcements. Our schedules for today. Today is a B-Day for high school. Um, it is Wednesday. You can pause and see the schedule if you need to. Remember, this is a suggested schedule. Um, we are suggesting these times that you interact with your respective subjects. Um, however, if you are not able to do so at certain times, we know especially a lot of you in high school are working, um, make the schedule work for you. Announcement for our seniors. Uh, today we have a call with Mr. Tom Torkelson from 4 to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, and then after the call, we have a call with college counselors and teachers. Uh, please check your email for the link. Join us. Log in. Um, we would love to see you face to face, especially on the call with college counselors and seniors. You do have the link. I want to touch back on um, this puzzle from Monday. Um, sorry, lost my train of thoughts <laughs> really quickly. Yeah, so one thing I didn't realize, you see where these arrows are? This means that, um, so if you, yeah, this means if you notice there's two shoes up here and then there's only one shoe down here. And then you notice this man is wearing uh, like the scarf on his hands or whatever those things are. Uh, then he has shoes on 
Uh, so all in all, it ends up being, this is not really a true math problem. This is just like a riddle thing that has really defies the laws of math because the variables are all off. Uh, and so unfortunately, uh, yeah, this is not a good choice by your principal. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a better one next week. Uh, the answer is actually not 20. I don't know what the answer is. You have to take half of 10, which I guess this is five for the shoe, and yeah, so, yeah. For Name That Tune Tuesday, the answer, uh, you, you know what, I think I'll, I'll, I'll play it for you just, just, just again, just so you can, can hear it again in case you didn't hear it on Tuesday, but the answer was Bills, Bills, Bills by Destiny's Child. Yes, um, I don't remember the year. Well, you get the idea. Um... The huge uh, shout out to Rain Scott for ninth grade for the correct answer. She got the answer correctly. Uh, great job, Rain. I'll be emailing you later today. Uh, Wordplay Wednesday. So here we have some word puzzles. You may have seen these before. You may not. But just in case, um, I'll show you the answer to number one. The answer to number one is tickled pink. Uh, tickled pink. And so, why is it tickled pink? Well, because the tickled is in pink. And so, um, see if you can figure out two, three, and four. If you know the answers, email me uh, before 10 o'clock. Please email me only with all three answers. Don't just be like, oh, I know the answer to number two. No, email me the answer to all of them. All right? And remember, Bulldogs, that we are, Bulldogs are determined, optimistic, generous, and strong. And if no one tells you today, remember that we love you, believe in you, and always will. Have a wonderful Wednesday today. We miss you, but we will love seeing you and interacting with you online. Have a great day. Bye-bye.